Hi guys and welcome to Bite Size Excel. In this week's video, we're going to take a look again at pivot table slicers. The focus of this video is how to create a custom slicer style. This video follows on from our pivot table slicers video. If you'd like to follow along, we use the same file as for that video and the link to the download is in the description below. So once you've inserted your pivot table slicers, you can have a play around with your slicer styles. Select your slicer or all of your slicers as I'm doing here by holding down control and then your slicer tab from the ribbon. You can either select from one of the preset options in your slicer styles or you can create a new style by selecting the little drop down arrow. Selecting new slicer style will bring up a dialog box. Alternatively, if there's one of the preset options that you like, such as this blue one here, you can right click on it, select duplicate, and this brings up a similar dialog box, but with several formatting options already selected. Now there are several different elements of your slicer that you can amend. You can either make changes to the whole slicer, the header, selected items with data or with no data, and similar options for unselected and hover selected items. So say I just want to change the font size and the type for my whole slicer and remove the borders. I'd select whole slicer option and go to format. On my border tab, I can remove all my borders by just clicking this none box here. Then I can switch to my font tab, reduce the size of my font, and select my preferred font type. Once I've made all my changes, I click OK. I can give my new slicer style a name. If I want all my new slices in this document to have this style, I would select set as default slicer style for this document. Once I hit OK, my new custom style will be created and it will go to the top of my slicer styles. To apply it and make sure I have all the slices I want to apply to selected and I click on it. If you want you can also remove a header from your slicer by right clicking, going to slicer settings and unchecking the display header box. You can also hide or unhide the items with no data. Customizing slicer styles can be really useful when creating interactive dashboards and giving those slicers the look that you want from your workbook. So this has been a look at creating a new slicer style within Excel. I hope that you found this video useful. Please do leave me a comment if there's anything that you'd like to see in future videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you on a future video.